wish we had a drum roll. But our, <laughs> our winner is Dr. David Sonyo and Kang. Bigger and nicer than a little room. Congratulations. And, and thank you. Enjoy your evening. When I see David, I always remember one, one slide. This is the page of the energies. Oh, that one. That's an iconic. Uh, oh. uh, it's an iconic page and it was an energy study. And more interference from previous and following pulses are made. In asymmetric settings, this doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. That's normal thickness. I don't know. What else do you have in the use? We have a reciprocal superiority happening here so that this ablation will cause steepening here. Flattening and steepening will cause yeah. a symmetrical tie. Yeah and regularizing the phone. There is a need for a more scientific rationale for determining optical-optical zone for quality vision after clicks. The title is Influence of Choroidal Width Between Cap and Lenticule on Visual Outcomes of Clicks. The choroidal width is defined as a difference between the cap diameter and lenticule diameter. Vision, refraction, anatomical variables, abrometry, biomechanical indices, and operating sets were all controlled except for cap diameter. And the one millimeter choroidal group demonstrates superior correction of corneal touristy compared to the smaller choroidal group in our opinion. Thank you very much. He is looking away from dynamics as I do. Flex. Can you please raise your hand if you actually come doing flex? Plasma clex is a biologic phenomenon. It is the corneal consequence of near pure plasma cutting for lenticular creation, which came to us because she was present with us. Look at that concentration. Huge amounts of comments of the charts again.